Hi guys. Yeah, um, I know in one of my previous hauls when I got the blueberry biscuits to these and the peanut butter biscuit, I did say uh, the peanut butter creams uh, I would at risk with the hamsters. Well, I did some research and um, this is the free dog bakery all natural classic creams and the peanut butter flavor and that the actual filling inside is not like peanut butter like you'd get peanut butter consistency you know where it could block the pouches this is more like a custard cream like biscuit that we can eat you know it's sort of like the cream is sort of solid and um so it'll just melt. All it'll do is if when it goes, if they, if they pouch a bit of it, it'll just melt without blocking because it's not sticky at all. So I've, I've definitely picked up a box, and I'm going to do a review now. I'm going to open them and put them in that tub, and uh, I'll show you what they like. And then later on, when the Amis wake up, I'll put a, I'll film a, film them eating it or whatever, or their opinion. And it'll be following straight after this video, so it'll just what it'll begin like one big video, like the blueberry biscuits were. So I'm getting quite excited now. So I'll open these and then I'll sh give, do a review. Right, they come in this nice little tray, neatly packaged, and they just look like Oreos, <laughs> but for dogs and and uh, hamsters. So yeah. So I'm going to open the packet now and then put them in the tub and see what they smell like. So, yeah. Oh my god, what can I say about these? I wish they were, you, wish, you wish you had smell of vision. Oh, they smell just like a peanut butter Oreo. I'm so tempted to eat one myself. But yeah, now back to this. Sorry about that, guys. Get carried away. But this company in America. I tried, well, I've had a few different flavours now, and they just get better and better. The, the, whoops, the smell is just awesome. They really are freshly baked natural ingredients. So, it really puts me off um, filming because I'm so carried away with the smell. Yeah, so you may think that's really big for an hamster. Well, you don't give them a full one. I'll show you what I do. Um, what I'll do. I'll, I'll just break one up and I'll show you how much I, I'll, I'll give on. Hi, hey, Earthlings, back again. <laughs> right, now there you go. I don't know if you can see the filling. So as you can see, it's not like, but I thought it was just peanut butter, um, you know, like, like you get in the jar, which I wouldn't have recommended because it could get stuck. But it's not, it's just, um, obviously, it's like a, an Oreo uh, peanut butter. Or um, a custard cream type type of filling. It's it just melts. So so these are, this is the size I'll give to the hamsters. The, you just give them a quarter. That's all you give them. Now because they uh, they've got sugar in, obviously you do you don't give them to the dwarves very often. I mean the cereal you can quite happily give one one of these a week, just a quarter, not a full one. Or a quarter on a quarter twice a week or something, but not a full one. Now with a dwarf, I recommend you just give them one of these, and um, every once in a while, say once a month if they've been really good. Then just say a bit like that, just once a month won't do them any harm. So this is what it looks like. It just looks like a normal peanut butter Oreo. Um. Oh. The smells delicious. It really smells delicious, and uh, <laughs> it's it's just divine. I know my hamsters are going to absolutely tuck into them. Right, the ingredients. Let's see, let's see the box again. All natural classic creams, and it's golden wafers. Don't know why they call them wafers. Um, flavored with peanut butter. So I'll tell you what the ingredients is. I'll just if you just bear with me. My hands are a bit greasy now. Right, ingredients. Cereals, oils and fats, various sugars. Like I said, I've got sugar in, so be very careful with your dwarf. I mean, I won't deprive him of that. He's old now anyway, so I won't deprive him of whatever little treat every now and again. So yeah, various sugars. And that word again, derivatives of vegetable origin, including peanut butter, 
2%. So it's not got too much peanut butter in there. So, you know, so they can't, they can't stick in the what's it. Minerals, a natural vanilla flavouring. Protein, 4%. Crude ash, 1%. Fat content, 18%. Well, that's quite high. Um, but that doesn't matter. It's just a treat. It's not like you're giving it home every day. Crude fibre, 2%. Moisture, 10%. So, yeah. There's the back of the box. And I got these in pets at home this morning. And, and um, for some reason, my arms just, just will not... Just will not eat... Uh, anything like meaty bones anymore, milk bones, gravy bones. It's ever since I've introduced them to the to the free dog bakery products, because um, they love the peanut butter biscuits, which I've done a review on, like a little peanut butter bone, and they love the blueberry biscuits or cookies, which I've done a review on. So yeah, I've tried them um, on gravy bones, and I've even tried them again on. Um, Bisquarks or whatever they call pedigree bisquarks and no just not interested not even interested in the whimsies anymore even though I've got one in each cage they rather have the so I know that these are going to go down a tree I just know now this box here because they're big if you've got a dog then obviously they won't last as long but if you've got a dog and an hamster these will be fine to give to both I'm not sure about cats I don't think you can give them cats <laughs> And yeah, I've got cats, but I, <laughs> I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't give them dog treats because they have their own. But these are definitely, definitely safe for hamsters. So, yeah. And if they really like, enjoy these, then, then I'll get the carob creams eventually. But um, we're the same as these, but they're like a chocolate covered thing because they're carob. So we'll have a look at these now. Let's have a see. There you go. Got nice shape on the delicious smell. Um, I just can't stop smelling them. It's making me want to go out and buy some biscuits. I know. What I mean, if I if I tried one, it wouldn't harm me because there's nothing in there to harm me. But I'm gonna resist. I'm gonna resist. <laughs> right. So this uh, this box was four ninety nine. So they are expensive, and it looks like my hamsters do have expensive taste. <laughs> my fault, I suppose. But uh, sometimes I just wish that kid, um, I, I'd have got these when Kizzy was alive. But they didn't have any pets at home then. Because I know she would have loved these. She really would. But I'm sure these will go down nicely with uh, Matilda and Rosabe. So them two, I'm going to give them tonight. And then that will go in for another week. So I'll end the video now. And I'll um, attach the other video of them eating it tonight. And then download it for you. So, bye guys. Guys, as promised, he's woke up, so I've just done some spot cleaning. And I've got his half and, uh, well, his quarter and Matilda's. So I'm going to try him now. So I'll just swap hands and see what he does. His arm. And we have success. I knew he'd love that. <laughs> like I said with dwarves, you, you only need to give them a tiny bit. He won't even eat all that because it's uh, a bit rich by lots of it by the smell of it but even if he has a little bit of a nibble it's something you enjoy that little lad hey they're nice I know what he's doing he's taking all the peanut butter out I bet <laughs> Mm. 
Maybe I should have given him a bit of a smaller piece, but I know he won't eat all that. He'll only have a little nibble. But at least he's uh, he's loving it, as you can see. <laughs> yep, so that's for Zabby's opinion. So now I'll go get Matilda. See you in a minute, Earthlings. Earthlings. Yeah, um, Matilda's now up and I'm going to give her a little bit. So for this, darling, I need you to go in the cage for a minute. I mean, in your carrier. There you go. And what we got? Oh! Let's see what her verdict is. Oh, yes. As you can see, she's got a uh, eye taste. <laughs> Now this is what I mean by how good they are, the biscuits. I highly recommend the free dog bakeries. I know they're expensive but look at the results. You've seen Rosabe and now you've seen Matilda. And they're both thoroughly enjoying it. You enjoying that little Tills? Eh? As you can see, if you can hear a whirring in the background, it's just my fan because it's really hot tonight. So I've got the fan on to keep uh, to keep the room cool. There you go. She's pouched it. She'll take it to her bed later and eat it. But as you've seen, she, she gets a. Uh, I think she gives it a five rate. Don't you give it five stars. You give it a five star. Look at your pouch now. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? <laughs> yeah. So there you go, guys. If you want to. Check them out. Just go to your pets at home, and even if the, even if you've got a dog and you just fancy getting them for your dog, just go and have a look and see what you think. But that's my verdict, and that's the Amy's verdict. So, bye, Earthlings.